Hello to everybody our dear subscribers Future Trend channel is again with you and today 10 of December 2018 the start of new week and this week could be rather volatile for the foreign exchange traders there are a lot of um, things uh, that uh, should uh, uh, lay the ground for um, really rising a volatility in the foreign exchange market among them uh, for example, tomorrow the British Parliament will decide the future of Brexit deal and despite of the fact uh, that the market is more or less priced in the, uh, in the disapproval of the Brexit uh, deal from uh, members of the British Parliament, uh, of course uh, a lot of will, uh, a lot of will uh, depend on the uh, future of uh, Theresa May, Prime Minister of, uh, of the UK, and uh, her ability to defend uh, the proposed uh, Brexit deal. Uh, from that point of view, of course, uh, um, probably it's a matter of uh, speaking for tomorrow's uh, statement. Anyway, today uh, we'd like to be more or less uh, brief regarding uh, the matter. We suggest uh, that a lot of will depend on the margin uh, between uh, those members who, uh, who, uh, who will vote in favor of Brexit deal and those who uh, will vote against, against it. But that's for tomorrow, because we should understand that, for example, as we speak now regarding, um, uh, regarding uh, cable, it should remain more or less stable uh, before before tomorrow's um, uh, before tomorrow's uh, uh, quite important decision. As regarding some other currencies, um, for example, euro dollar, which is trading around uh, one fourteen thirty now, uh, more or less uh, because of um, uh, the really weak kind of payrolls report uh, that came uh, from the United States side on Friday and uh, in the light of uh, current uh, mm, let's say uh, in the light of current uh, mm, voices expressed uh, by uh, Federal Reserve members uh, regarding the future pace of uh, United States increases of its benchmark interest rate and uh, we already knew that some members expressed some caution uh, regarding uh, the future of the world economy and uh, the corporate debts in the United States of course taking into account that we are uh, now seeing a kind of sluggishness in the uh, United States economic indicators of course it's not it should not bode well for the future of interest rates in the United States and of course for the future of the United States currency. More or less the market is priced in the next uh, interest rate hike from the Fed that's scheduled for uh, next week. Uh, don't uh, forget that uh, December 17, 18 uh, that's the dates of uh, next uh, uh, federal market open uh, uh, committee. A meeting and uh, the market is priced in another increase but of course a lot of will depend on the uh, future pace of United States uh, Fed's increases uh, that's scheduled uh, for 2019 and the market of course uh, should prepare itself for any kind of changes. Now also we should uh, concentrate on uh, also should concentrate on a current uh, kind of unrests uh, that still continue in France. Today uh, the president of France, uh, French President Emmanuel Macron, will speak in front of the nation and uh, of course it's not a kind of topic, economic topic number one uh, to discuss now but uh, we should understand that this kind of unrest of course should uh, uh, shake the ground of the uh, current uh, bullishness in the euro currency. Anyway, we still suggest uh, that uh, the current potential for the euro dollar is still upside potential in front of uh, current uh, weakness of economic numbers from the United States. 
we still continue to suggest that till the end of 2018 the euro currency could develop further impulse uh, to the north that means that probably uh, we will uh, test such kind of resistance such kind of resistances in the euro currency among them is a pivotal not a kind of pivotal but psychologically important barrier that's located at 115 also uh, there is uh, an, a rather important uh, um, downtrend line barrier at 115.30 Anyway, from a longer term point of view, while we are trading below moving average 200 daily line located at 117.35 right now, the euro currency should remain under the downside pressure. As regarding the dollar yen, which is uh, trading at 112.5 uh, right now, and by the way, still here we keep our uh, short trade recommendation initiated at 113.30. We suggest that while trading below the level of 113 and a half, 14 and a half, uh, we suggest that it's upside bearer uh, for the moment for the dollar yen. Uh, more or less, uh, uh, don't forget that our uh, pivotal idea of 2019 is uh, an idea of. Uh, high kind of uh, likelihood of uh, Japanese yen appreciation. Uh, we will speak about the matter probably beginning of next year, more uh, fundamentally, let's say so. Anyway, uh, here we still suggest to keep our short rate recommendation with their target of 111. 110.61 is a location of moving coverage 200 daily line. And while above that uh, line, probably the dollar yen should remain uh, bullishly oriented. Anyway, we suggest that sooner or later here the situation will uh, change uh, quite dramatically. As regarding the cable, uh, once again, we suggest sir, that everything is uh, hidden in the box of tomorrow's uh, uh, British Parliament uh, vote on the Brexit deal so it's uh, probably it's better to stand aside uh, uh, right now but uh, as you could see in our strategy list in uh, in the cable we still suggest that any kind of uh, dip below the year's lows and the year's lows located in the cable are around uh, the, uh, around 126.50 126.60 and the same applies by the way for the euro sterling the highs are printed around 0.91 of course even here we could retest this barrier during tomorrow but we suggest that it's an opportunity to enter a long position in the british currency either in the euro sterling or in cable that's why we suggest to buy uh, cable at 126 with a stop below 2570 of course anytime we will uh, be ready to uh, reconsider the situation and to re-enter a uh, new uh, a new longs and the si same applies by the way for the euro crosses here as well we are ready to sell at the euro sterling at 0 0.9090 90. but again more fundamentally we will speak about the matter about the sterling in the framework of tomorrow's statement finally let's speak about the dollar swiss which is uh, by the way is trading below the level of 0 0.99 and the uh, next level to watch is a location of moving coverage 200 daily line at 9844 and we will use an opportunity over possible a retest of this line to lock in profits with our short rate recommendation initiated at the parity level probably for those looking for another impulse lower in the dollar swiss it's a matter it's a matter of uh, um, it's matter of uh, time to wait a little bit lower for the possible retest of 2018 uptrend line located at 0.9670 uh, probably it's uh, worth mentioning we suggest anyway that uh, from a point of view of short-term trading 
uh, and for those who uh, sold uh, the dollar Swiss uh, sold dollar Swiss above the parity level it's a uh, time uh, to um, to cut uh, let's say even a portion of its position uh, at a possible retest of moving average 200 daily line thank you very much for all your recommendations suggestions and for all of your attention of our channel we will be back to you tomorrow the same time take care and bye bye for now